And here we are once again, everybody. It's your boy, the Mavsexo, right back at you with Pokemon Fire Red Mewlock. It's all one Mew, one Battler, no mistakes, no flaws. Our Mew has been rolling flat everything in its path, destroying everybody. And today will be its greatest challenge yet. We have a whole bunch of things we have to do today. We got to take down Team Rocket. We got to just take them out. We're taking down the Silph Co. building. We're going to destroy Sabrina the Teenager. And we're going to be taking on our rival Mewtwo. Going to be a lot of fights today. It's going to be a very challenging one. Our Mew, as I have stated, is, in fact, of the greatest of Mews in the world. And I did a little bit of Pokemon catching. Had to get the item finder, but you know what we have now? We got leftovers, people. We got our leftovers on our Mew. So now this just makes Mew a little bit harder for my opponents to deal with. Other than that, we got a very nice bit of attack boost and everything. And that, we're going to need it today because no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's going to get harder from here on out. Why is there an item on Moo? You don't have pickup. Oh, wait, I gave you the quick launch just for the heck of it. I, I don't think I'm ever going to level up Moo. I don't really need to. But yes, basically, it's time for us to go to the next gym. Just go, go on through. Yeah, basically the whole story of the road is out. That was a lie. That was like this guy. This game was this guy was just like he, he's paid off by Team Rocket. Complete corruption has to be said. There you go. So I am now allowed to just go through. We are in Saffron City. Everything is beautiful indeed, and the rockets have taken over the town. The rockets have taken over, and we must take it back over. I want to go fight the gym leader, but I'm not allowed. You know who we will beat up, though? Well, let's take on the Jimmy Jim. Let's take on the Fighting Dojo. We don't need anything here, obviously, but... You know, why Why not have Mew just annihilate everything? And I... You know, I'll, I'll go easy on the whole fast-forward thing, but really, this is going to be very easy. I know our Mew... Bit over level, but as you can see right there... You know, when it's time to fight Bruno, this will get difficult. But look at, look at this. Mew is just going to recover... All that damage. You gotta recover all that damage. Yeah. And this, this will be good experience for me, though, because, well, I, I am very confident in my Mew's ability to just annihilate everything in one or two shots. We have to remember that our rival Mewtwo, he, he has a team that's just perfectly made to take on our challenge. You know, double intimidates, we're all physical, and that Ivysaur of his, which will soon be a Venusaur if it isn't already. It's gonna be a challenge, and it will be. That's why we need. That's why we need to destroy every grunt we come across, every trainer we can fight, just to make sure that our Mew gets a little bit stronger. But so I'm noticing now that the dig move seems to be more effective against these fighters. So maybe the the only trouble with Bruno is gonna be if he has Earthquake. That's the only tricky thing. It's it's gonna be a close fight with Bruno, but that's then. This now, and now it's time to face off against the Dojo Master. Grunge. I imagine he didn't say grunt. He was just like, Ugh. I am the karate master. I am leader. Challenge us, expect no mercy for. You better have him a champ or something. You're the karate master. Or maybe you just have him on Shane and him on Lee. Yeah, that, that makes sense too. Okay. But yeah, ba basically, Moose is going to annihilate these fools. I do like I do like him on Lee's sprite though, so he's a cool dude. But yeah, that was a. Uh, oh. Risky move, my brother, but unfortunately, that did not do much damage, though. All right, dude, I've lost. I beseech you, do not take our emblem. Here's a prize fight. Yeah, I'd rather have your emblem because I don't I don't care. Uh, I'm going to take him on Lee. Why not? Uh, no, I'm never going to use you. I have a fighting type Pokemon that's just fine. Thank you. Real quick, we're just gonna go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center, because while I don't see any real problem beating up an army of grunts, you know, we gotta make sure our Pokemon are healed regardless. So, yeah, is it? I don't think. Do, do I even need to bother talking to you, folk? I don't think I do. I guess these people are just like, you know, they're very. But hiding. They're hiding from Team Rocket, who have taken over the city. Where are the police, you might ask? I haven't the faintest clue. That was never explained. <laughs> All right, enough goofing around. Come on, baby, it's time. Silphco. 
we're not gonna see all the fights y'all i'm gonna go ahead and model I, I, what do you call it? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give this the um what do you call it? the mon the montage treatment because we want to see all of this but you might even call this the big old episodic exposition explosion finally oh goodness that took like 15 minutes goodness gracious oh fast forward key really helps because finally at the end of silk cup baby that took a little less time than i thought and mew hit level 65 goodness great also found more red candy so i can make it even bigger but are we ready to fight mew too i think we can take him i think we'll take actually i just want to double check i did find some more vitamins I don't think any of these will work on you at this point, but you know, I'll just Yeah, that would, those aren't gonna work I'm just gonna give these to somebody else. Now they go, you know, Cuddy Flash, you have You know, you, you're a thing, Cuddy Flash. You're a thing. Why not? Hello, Mewtwo. What's kept you, Mew number? What? Shut up, Mewtwo. I had to battle the grunts. How did you get up here? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up my way here. I just seen Rocket slowed you down. Not that I can. Saw you in Sapphire and see if I can get you better. Yeah, I have gotten much better. Mew is slightly bigger. Bring it on, Mew2. Let's do it. Let's do it. How many Pokemon? You have five Pokemon to my one, huh? And your Pidgeotto finally about 37. Okay, that's not as high as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting better out of you. And I was expecting out of Mew better if he would have hit you. How much damage? That does nothing. That does nothing. And I have leftovers now. What do you have to counter that? I recover more than you damage me. At least with your Pidgeot. I don't know about the rest of you. But this this Pidgeot has alarmingly good at defense. It really for, for it to tank a rollout like that. That is that's pretty damn good. I was really hoping Mew could one shot the Pidgeot. That would make it so much easier to take down Mewtwo. All right, but what else do you have? Oh, look at that good XP. Beautiful. Gyarados. That's the first of your little intimidate squad. Come on, Mewtwo. I mean, Mew, whatever. Mew, wipe him out. Wipe out Mewtwo. There you go. Super effective. That's more like it. All right. Two down. Three to go. Who's next? It's probably going to be your, yeah, your Growlithe. More of your little intimidate nonsense. It's, it's still funny to me. Randomized move pool. All I have is, well, except for Solar Beam. Everything's a, a physical attack. I'm geared for physical attacks. All he, he has a whole bunch of Intimidators. It's, it's nutty to me. It's completely random, but completely hilarious at the same time. Ah, uh, there he is. Like the ass cannon himself. And we missed. Mm. That's not necessarily good. And he hit me with a calm mind. I mean, that doesn't affect my damage output none, but that's not good. Not necessarily. I mean, at least I'm not a bowl of cereal. That would have made it even worse. Double calm mind. Mm. Mew, I hope you one-shot this guy. Somehow. Oh! Oh! Well, gosh dang it. All right. Roll out. That future slate might come back to bite me in the balls. We'll find out. And uh, your Venusaur is a here now. He's a here, Rashi Mario. All right. And with the sleep powder. I despise sleep powder. All right, how much damage is this gonna do? 
Okay, that's enough. It does nothing. Mew, too strong. To be, to be fair, I was expecting that to be a lot more damage. I, double Calm Mind, Future Sight, at least in later gens, it's stronger. Maybe this is the gen where it's not as strong. Must be the case. Otherwise, that would have done way more damage. I don't care if I had a 30 level advantage. That would have done a lot more damage. But yeah, th this is... I'll, I'll fast forward just a smidge just until Mew wakes up again. But yeah, now, now Mew is just going to roll over this guy. I don't know. I was expecting more out of Mew. I might, even, I might not even need those rare candies. I don't know if I do. I don't know. <laughs> you and your sleepy powder. I don't know what's in that powder, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Come on. Mew, wake the frick up. There we go. Okay, Mew is awake. Roll out one more time. Flatten it like a pancake. There you go. All righty. Another time beating up our rival. There you go. Mewtwo down. Well, Mew want to move up ahead. Checking the boat down. I'm starting to see what's strong with how they are. Shut the frick up, Mewtwo. I don't care about you and your stupid team. I just rolled them all out. I want to kick your butt every time. That time in Lavender Town was a fluke, I tell you. Uh, now the question is, do I... Should I go and heal Mew? I mean, like, PP-wise. Nah, I don't think I do. I kind of have a doubt to that. I mean, it's just Diavadi. I mean, how tough is Diavadi? It's some... Um, okay, that's good enough. If I somehow die because I didn't have 3 HP, that's on me. And this guy gives you a Lapras. I, I never understood why there's a Lapras in an office building. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. I, you know, there was that surfing spot beneath Fuchsia. That would have been a good place to put the Lapras in this game. That would have been the perfect place to put Lapras in this game. Why he's in the why he's here, I have no idea. Mew one, so we meet again. I forget your voice already. The pros are discussing a vital business proposition to keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. And then he gives me no option. He just battles me. Uh, it would have been funny if they actually gave you an option, or they should. There should have been a yes no there. Just saying, but yeah, here we go. Boss Giovanni. And his Nidorino. Alright. I feel like Dig will work just fine against Nidorino. I mean it's part poison. So this ought to do damage. I'm just more worried about any of these knowing magnitude or worse, earthquake. That's the one big fear with my Mew, is that if my opponent has Earthquake, I take so much more damage. But again, Mew is too goaded. And in three levels, it'll become the ultimate number. I wish it would stop leveling up after that, but that's not how this game works. <laughs> tail Whip. He's, he's the boss of Team Rocket, and he's gonna try and hit me with a Tail Whip. Pathetic Giovanni. Worst gym leader. There we go, 66. Roll 66, 185 attack power. Mew really should be one-shotting everything, but isn't yet? Well, some Pokemon with a type advantage, Mew can do it. But for some reason, still can't take down a Pidgeot, which I think is ridiculous, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, and okay, Kangaskhan can at least tank a hit. There you go. There is still some difficulty here. Not a lot, but there's a little bit. But I was gonna say, Pidgeot clearly rolled really good for its nature. Must have gotten like Calm or something. Uh, no, like Calm Special Defense, isn't it? One of those two. Yeah, no, Calm is Special Defense. What's the one for regular defense? I don't remember, but it, whatever that is, that's the type that Mewtwo's Pidgeot has. Uh, but yeah, this ought to be this ought to be the final blow. Dig him up. How does Mew even dig in an office building? He's literally rifling through the floors. He's gonna ruin the structural integrity of the building, Mew. Stop doing that. All right, boss Giovanni, get out of here. You're garbage. Don't want to see you until the end of the game. Get out of here. Oh, dear boy, thank you for saving yourself. I'll never forget the penny service at this moment. I have to thank yourself so, some way. I'm rich. I can give you anything. There's nothing you can give me I really want. <laughs> I don't need money because I only have one Pokemon to worry about and I don't need to catch any more Pokemon. I Have plenty of money for beating up trainers, so I don't need healing items or anything Unless you give me a solid gold statue of Mew that I can 
place over top where the Elite Four live. In recognition of our victory, there's nothing you can give me. The Master Ball is cool, though. I wish I could swap that out for what Mew was in, but I can't do that. And the you know, there you go. Silco is liberated. Screw the police. The police can snuff it. They don't know nothing. They don't do nothing, those policemen. All you need to do to defeat evil organizations, get 10-year-olds to do it. Time for one last thing for today. Goodness gracious, this has actually gone faster than I thought it was going to. Uh, but we're honestly getting close to the finale of this series, you know? I mean, uh, unless the Serebii Islands are a thing. That's, is that in this game or is that another game? I, I forget, but yeah. Like, today we'll take Sabrina. Next episode, I feel like we can take two gym leaders. We'll take down Blaine and Giovanni. They're both going to go down like a sack of hot potatoes. That's how easy it's going to be. The next episode after that, if I don't have to do the Cerebi Islands or whatever it's called, then that'll be rematch with Mewtwo, Victory Road, Elite Four, one big thing. But yes, for, for now, though, we, we do have to take down the psychic gym leader. Oh, and here's this random dude who's like, oh, I flew all the way here with my Pidgeot. Oh, he's like a reporter. I'd always say he's a trainer. No, he's not a trainer. A trainer fan club. I don't give a damn. Unless you're a fan of Mew, I don't care. All right, so here we are. It's time for the next gym. Yep, Psychic Pokemon. Which I thought was going to be a hard one. But then again, I annihilated Mewtwo's Alakazam. I want to think that Sabrina's Alakazam is a better Alakazam, but I don't know. It's hard to say. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just you know, talk a little bit while I'm battling these guys. I mean, yeah, he's got the Kadabras, or they got slow. There's a lot of slow pokes and Kadabras in this gym. Lots of those. I mean, that's the main psychics of Gen 1. It's like slow bro, Kadabra, the odd Hypno here and there. But for the most part, yeah, it's, it's like lots of slow pokes. It's weird. And ironically enough, I run into a ghost-type Pokemon in the Psychic Gym. Which is funny, because ghosts are supposed to be stronger against Psychics. You know? So why there's a random Chandler here, I don't know, and I've been confused. That's not good. Mew, don't kill yourself, please. Oh, boy. This could actually be tricky. I might have to sw Okay, no, never mind. I was about to say I need to switch out Mew just to cure the confusion. No, we do not need to do that because Mew is just too strong. Okay, there we are. Oh, I almost got lost there for a second, but yeah, it's time to finally take down Sabrina. Sabrina, the teenage girl. Who can level buildings with her thoughts as a child, but cannot defeat me as an adult with Pokemon. All right, Mew's level 67. I could pop a rare candy. I don't think I need it. Let me just double check. Wait. Mew, how are your, how are your PP doing? I need to know how your PP doing. Your PP is doing fine. I don't see us eating that much PP to defeat Sabrina. All right, let's take her down. I had a vision of your revival. I was like both. Yeah, I know we had the, we had the whole montage earlier, but screw it, I'm gonna do it again. Anyway, Sabrina. You have less Pokemon than Mewtwo does. Why? Also, your Pokemon are about the same level as his. All right, whatever, roll out. Autobots, roll out. That's how this feels. Uh, Mew, critical hit to start is beautiful. That a good Mew. I really wish I could have named Mew. I really, can I, can I get a recommendation that the next time I do one of these, uh, can I get a nickname on the Mew? I would love to have a nickname on my Mew. I'd like him to be known as Butterscotch. Why Butterscotch, you ask? Because Butterscotch is delicious. Just like the victories that Mew earns us. That, that's that's what, that's my rant for Mew nicknames today. Okay. Uh, so who's next? Mr. Name. <sighs> Damn it, now she's going to be able to set up and stuff. Actually, considering Mr. Mom's all about, like, barriers, why is that not your first Pokemon? That makes no sense. Like, if I was you, I would have started with Mr. Mime and done this whole calm mind shtick. Set up barrier and reflect, you know? Maybe teach yourself how to spam hyper potions. That's another option, too. Okay. All right. 
whatever, Sabrina. I mean, it's a little too late for that, but okay, you do you. All right, let's see that Alkazam. Mewtwo's with 35. You are 43. Significantly bigger. Target for my Mew. All right. Goodness gracious. Is all the challenge gone in this game? No. I still hold that Bruno will be a challenge, and so will Mewtwo in the final fight. Didn't work hard enough to it. No, you could have just crushed my brain with your psychic juice, but no, you you decided not to do that for some reason. The Mosh Badge, level 70. I, I have never needed to worry about badges. Don't raise your Pokemon too much. Avoid the problem. I don't care. What is the TM for? Is that Calm Mind? People have psychic powers. Cool. Nice to know it, Sabrina. Nice to meet you, crazy lady. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to try to remember how to get out of your insufferable gym. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, I always get worried about getting stuck in this damn place. Uh, but yeah, that's today's episode, everybody. Goodness gracious, we did a lot of stuff. Team Rocket, pretty much out of the picture, except for we had to go beat up Giovanni at his gym. We got to go beat up Blaine. We got to beat Giovanni. And then it's time for the Elite Four, hopefully. I hope I don't have to do any side questing stuff. I don't remember if that was this game or not. If there is, then I guess I have to do it. I don't want to do it. I might even record doing it. I don't even know what did you do with the Serbi Islands. But regardless, I'm going to go heal up my Mew one last time. And that'll be it for today. Thank you very much for watching Pokemon Fire Red the Mew Lock. If you enjoyed it, smack the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Help us to reach number one with our Mew, our Butterscotch. That's what we're going to do, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. But hopefully next time we'll have a little bit more challenge. I don't know. Blaine's pretty easy as a gym leader. He's more annoying than anything. More annoying than anything. And then Giovanni's just like, who cares? So, yeah, next episode, double the gym leaders. We're going to take them all down. It's going to be quick and easy. So, hope to see you guys there. Till next time, your boy Memphis signing out. Until then, you'll stay safe and happy. And you have a good one. Take care.